Hi, this video I'm going to tell about the traffic light control system uh, by using 805 on microcontroller. So the objective of the uh, traffic light control, uh, control system is uh, uh, to provide the sophisticated control and the coordination to confirm that the uh, traffic moves as smoothly and safely as possible. So what are the components uh, that are used in this uh, project is uh, for indication purpose uh, LED lights are used and uh, 8051 microcontroller is used for auto chaining up signal at a specified range of time interval and whenever the port pin the corresponding port pin of the microcontroller uh, gets high uh, the led lights gets automatically turns on and off so this is the objective of the traffic light control system and uh, this is the block diagram uh, or circuit diagram for the traffic light controller here uh, what are the components uh, used is uh, for uh, uh, indication purpose LED lights are used uh, that is counter display is used and three LED lights are used for uh, uh, indication purpose uh, that is uh, red light, yellow light and uh, green light and these are the connection so here uh, the port 2 actually it is connected to uh, display uh, counter display and uh, port uh, uh, 0 that is connected to LED lights three lights are there so that port 0 pin that are connected to LED lights and uh, how it is working is so here the seven segment LED display that can be used as a counter display here and uh, for indication purpose uh, three LEDs are used so uh, here uh, what are the indication lights that is LED lights we are using here is uh, one is a red light and other one is a green light and other one is a orange light so the brain of this entire project is uh, it is a 8051 microcontroller uh, that is used to initiate a traffic signal at the intersection on the road and uh, here uh, the for uh, generating frequency clock pulses it uses a crystal oscillator so 8051 have uh, two crystal oscillator signal, signals uh, that is XTAL1 and XTAL2 so it makes use of the crystal oscillator for generating the frequency clock pulses so uh, the leds uh, three led lights leds uh, that are interfaced to the port zero of the microcontroller that are powered with a five volt power supply and a seven segment display that is counter display seven segment uh, counter display uh, that is connected to port pin of the 8051 microcontroller with a common anode configuration and uh, how it is working that is uh, working of the traffic light controller is uh, the led lights gets automatically switched on and off by making the corresponding port spin of the microcontroller high based on the 8051 microcontroller so the programming actually that, uh, that is done by using the KL software so whenever uh, the port pin uh, becomes high the led lights automatically get switched on and whenever the port pins get low it automatically gets switched off so the programming part it is done by using the key software uh, by using the 8051 microcontroller so whenever at a particular point of time only the green light holds on and other light remains off uh, whenever uh, the traffic signal is clear so whenever uh, the vehicle is ready to go means uh, the green light holds on and other lights will automatically get off that is the green light and orange uh, red light sorry orange light and red light and after some time uh, the change over traffic light control from green to red takes place by making the succeeding change for the uh, glowing of LED, uh, yellow LED and uh, here uh, for the normal traffic light control system uh, there are some drawbacks are there uh, because uh, in uh, if you take a four-way junction road one side we have less traffic and other side we may have more traffic but uh, the time allotted for all the uh, all the roads are uh, same so sometimes it may be uh, a drawback for that uh, particular site so what we can do is uh, we can propose a density based traffic signal here what we are going to do is here we are going to uh, divide the area into three zones one is a low density zone and other one is a medium density zone and other one is a high density zone and uh, here uh, what we are going to use is uh, for detection uh, whether it is a low travel low density traffic or medium density traffic or high density traffic uh, it uses the infrared sensor so we shortly call it as ir sensors and other uh, components it is as similar to the previous uh, application that is a microcontroller uh, it is used for controlling the traffic light and led it is used for uh, seven segment uh, display 
uh, which can be used for uh, controlling the traffic signals based on the density of the traffic. So, what are the junction uh, that is taken into consideration here is, it is a four-sided junction with traffic flow on each side is only in one direction. So, it consisting of three main components. Uh, there are three units are available here. One is a display unit, second one it is a detector unit and third one is a controller unit. So, we will see one by one. And the purpose of the display unit is, uh, it consists of LEDs, three LEDs. So, we are taking a, a junction with the four uh, roads. So, for uh, every uh, side, we have three LEDs, three LED lights. One is a green light, second one is a red light, and other one is a orange light. So, how many LEDs uh, that are used here is, there are 12 LEDs. So, all are uh, three different colors. One is a green color, and second one is a red color, and another one is a orange color. And for detector unit, uh, detector unit uh, for detecting whether it is uh, low density or medium density or high, uh, high density. So, it uses the IR uh, sensor, that is infrared sensor, and other one is a photodiode. So, for every junction, we are placing uh, IR sensor for detecting the presence of the vehicles based on the change in resistance. And uh, heart of the unit here, again, it is a controller unit. The purpose of the controller unit here is it, uh, it contains a microcontroller that is 8051 microcontroller so which receives the output data from the IR sensor. So uh, IR sensor whatever it detects whether it belongs to medium density or low density or high density. So whatever uh, input it is uh, got from the uh, uh, infrared sensor uh, that will be given to the microcontroller. So based on the uh, output from the IR sensor it controls the glowing of LEDs based on the programming. And this is a diagram, block diagram for the uh, traffic light control system that is density based traffic light control system. Here we have uh, uh, three units uh, as I mentioned uh, there. Uh, one is a display unit. So this display unit, uh, uh, we are considering the four junction roads. So every junction, uh, every road, we have uh, three LED lights. Uh, one is a red light, another one is a green light, another one is a uh, orange light. And uh, this is a... Uh, Detector unit. So, detector unit, what we are using here is here we are using the IR sensor that is an infrared sensor. So, this infrared sensor will detect uh, uh, whether it belongs to low density or medium density or high density. Based on the input uh, uh, that is got from the IR sensor, the microcontroller uh, will do the controlling of LED sensors automatically. So, this is a density based traffic light system. So it overcomes the major drawbacks of the normal traffic light control system. Thank you.